from Loretto Abbey, home to the Sisters of Loretto since 1928, and the Loretto Abbey Secondary School, and with the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Welcome to the celebration of the Daily TV Mass. My name is Father James Casper. The televising of this Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Linda McKinnon from Sydney, Australia, in loving memory of her husband Neville, who passed away one year ago on April 24th. The second is an anonymous donor from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, in memory of her deceased parents and siblings, and for the souls in purgatory. The third are the members of the Catholic Women's League from Holy Family Parish in Medicine Hat, Alberta, for the intentions of their members and in appreciation for the daily TV Mass. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind the infinite mercy and compassion of God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock that belongs to you, which lives alone in a forest, in the midst of a garden land. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old. As in the days when you came out of the land of Egypt, show us marvelous things. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of your possession? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in showing clemency. He will again have compassion upon us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and unswerving loyalty to Abraham, as you have sworn to our ancestors from the days of old. The word of the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Lord, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people. 
You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us again, O God of our salvation and put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was still speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers were standing outside wanting to speak to him. But to the one who had told him this, Jesus replied, who is my mother and who are my brothers? And pointing to his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Be to the Lord Jesus my dear brothers and sisters, this gospel passage is somewhat confusing to us because it could be interpreted as an instance in which Jesus dismisses or diminishes his relationship to his mother and other family members who have come to see him. But I believe quite the opposite is true. Looking at our own family relationships, None of us would be inclined to invite other people into our family, even for a short time, if we were not comfortable and secure in our family relationships. Jesus trusted that his family relationships were strong enough for him to be able to say that those who do the will of God are as close to him as his nearest family members, mother, sisters, brothers. Jesus' teaching often included a new vision of humanity. It is a vision that has its origin in God. God is a community of persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, all equal, all completely and entirely one in mind and heart and purpose. The dynamic love of the Trinity is by its very nature, creative and constantly moving outward, giving life and sustaining all that exists. Jesus never ceased to live in communion with the Father and the Spirit. So when Jesus took to himself our humanity, he not only 
to use Paul's words in his letter to the Philippians, he not only emptied himself being born in human likeness, but at the same time, Jesus drew us into the life of the Trinity. We are one in God and God in us. Jesus constantly calls us to be aware of our communion with God and our communion with each other in God. All who recognize their union with each other in God are connected in a communion of faith and love which constitutes that family centered around God. In that first reading from the prophet Micah, when the small group of survivors returned to Jerusalem from their years in exile to find their city in ruins as their lives were in ruins, they pleaded for God's help in the work of rebuilding. Rebuilding not just their city, but their relationship with God, which formed the foundation of their relationships with each other. In the same way, Jesus points to a relationship among us that moves at a different level than family. Jesus points to a network of relationships with people and with all of creation, which has its roots in our relationship with God. Knowing God, loving God, doing God's will shapes all of the relationships of our life. Faith teaches us how much we have in common with others. We spend so much of our lives trying to distinguish ourselves by appearing successful, accumulating things, or looking superior. But there comes a time in our lives when we realize that we are called to humbly take our place in the family of humanity without the need to distinguish ourselves. It is a time when we are called to become more like Jesus who emptied himself for our sake. For most of us, that means accepting those who are close to us and those whom we meet as they are, loving them and being there for them in any way we are able. May the Spirit of God teach us the selflessness and the faith through which we find our true selves. Amen. <clears throat> With trust in God, let us present our prayers of petition. For the members of our daily mass community, wherever participants may be, and especially for those who are homebound and struggling with health issues, we pray to the Lord. For the millions of refugees forced from their homes and looking for a safe place to live with their families, we pray to the Lord. Today, the Church's liturgy honors St. Charbel Makhlouf, a 19th century monk and hermit from Lebanon. We pray, therefore, that Maronite Catholics throughout the world may continue to give faithful witness to their rich tradition of faith. We pray to the Lord. For those seeking employment, for the safety of travelers, and for those who have lost their way in life, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Gracious God, giver of all that we have, receive these prayers of ours and grant them through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
by the mystery of this water and wine may we share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Wash away my iniquity, O Lord, and cleanse me of my sin. Thank you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to the glory of your name. <clears throat> Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us to call God Father, so let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Keep us safe. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer by Henry Francis Light? Abide with me, fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, O oh, abide with me. Swift to its close, ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changes not, abide with me. Hold thou thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks, and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you, not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. Come and journey with a Savior who has called us from our birth. Our prayer book costs $10. If you'd like to order it, please send a check or money order payable to the NCBC. On the earth.